and I'm gonna do my Gudito Mexicano. <laughs> Woo! So I got inspired by the movie Coco, if you guys can see. I am wearing like the one, um, I think it was Imelda was wearing, and I love it, I love it. So since I got inspired with Coco, today I'm gonna show you guys how to do, uh, it's gonna be, like a lamp I would say and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this detail by detail and I am gonna tell you guys where to get the stuff okay like what stores actually where to get them so I know that not a lot of us like to sleep in the dark so this is why I decided to do this and it's something really fun and so easy to create so let's go ahead and get started okay Woo okay so first thing that you need is a mason jar so you can get this at Walmart, Target, um, Michaels, Dollar Tree, or 99 cents. Next, you're going to need some flowers. You can get these at Dollar Tree, 99 cents, or Michaels. I don't know, I'm not really sure about Walmart or Target. Next, you're going to need flameless tea lights. You can get these at Walmart, Target, Dollar Tree, or 99 cents. Next, you're going to need Sharpies, whichever color you want. Be very careful with the Sharpies because if you get uh, on your hand, it's really hard to take off. So let's be careful with that, okay? Next, you're going to need scissors. Please make sure that you use an adult when you're going to use the scissors. I don't want anybody to get hurt, okay? Please, please, please. Next, we are going to need hot glue gun. Another thing that I want you guys to be very careful because it is hot and you can get hurt. So I don't want no one to be getting hurt, okay? So let's go ahead and get started, guys. First thing that we are going to do is go ahead and grab our flower. So I already cut my flower. Uh, I cut it uh, in half. Be very careful because these flowers are kind of hard to like cut. So be very careful when you cut it. That's why I need you guys to use your parents. So first thing first, is we're gonna put hot glue gun right here and then once we have put our hot glue gun we're going to put our flower we're going to glue it make sure that you guys do press down okay because it is a bit hard for the hot glue gun to stay so make sure that you guys press down like that you guys can add more glue if you guys want and then just press it down just like that Go ahead and hold it for about um, one minute. You can just hold it there. That way it can stay. Okay? Once it has, it has stayed, it's going to look like this. You can fold it up like that. That way it can stick up like this. Okay? Or you can leave it down. I'm going to leave it down because I want it to look sideways. I want it to look almost something like this. So you can go ahead and leave it sideways or you can put it up however you guys want to. So next one, I'm going to, I actually cut all of it down because I only want to use these two now. And now I'm going to put one on this side over here. So make sure, I, like I said, be very careful with the hot glue gun because it is hot guys. So make sure you grab, press down. Okay, so once you have pressed down, it should look like that. And it stays like that. You can add more glue. I'm going to add more glue. To press it down, you can grab a paper. That way you don't get burned. And just hold down like that. Okay. Then we are going to grab another one just like that and put it just right here. And then press down. Make sure that you guys press down, okay? That way your your flower can stay on there. I don't want no one to get hurt, so make sure, make sure that you do be very careful. Like I said, you can grab a paper and then um, just hold it down. That way you don't get burned. 
So be very, very careful, guys, okay? So this is how mine is looking like. It's going to um, stick. So it's there, done. Now let's go ahead and add another one. So now I have got everything. Just these two once again. And I'm gonna glue it now here. I'm gonna put a lot of glue. And then just like that, stick it again. Like I said, be very careful. This is very hot. I don't want no one to get hurt, so press it down. Okay, ah, this is really a mess, guys, sometimes. Because it, it gets all over your fingers. So be very careful. It becomes sometimes a mess, but be very, very careful. Okay, guys? So I'm almost done gluing. Okay, so let me go ahead and put another glue stick because mine is running out. Okay. Press down. Okay. Now I grabbed another flower just like that. Be very careful. Put the glue right there and then just stick it right there. I love the way it's turning out, guys. Like, don't you guys think it's just so beautiful? This is so lovely, guys. Okay. You guys can put this in your room or you can also put it in your living room. Whichever whichever spot you guys would like, you guys can um, put it. It's really, it's really, 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 really pretty. Okay, last rose. And I'm gonna put it right about here. Okay, so now I have glued all my flowers just like that I'm gonna glue this one more down because I don't know if you guys see it but it's kind of sticking up and I want it to stick down so just like that and then just press it down Make sure that you do press down, that way it does stick, guys, okay? Okay. So, oh, mine didn't glue. Hold on, guys. Let me put more glue. That way it does stay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now it's staying, okay? Now that you guys have all that glued, you guys are going to go ahead and open your flameless. Tea lights. Okay, guys, once you have opened your uh, flameless um, lights, you do have to take off like a little paper that is here, just like that. And then you can go ahead and put hot glue gun on the bottom and then just glue it down there or you can leave it loose however you want i'm gonna go ahead and leave it a little bit i'm gonna leave it loose but before i do do that i'm gonna turn it on and then this is how it looks just like that okay and then be very careful with the I know it's gonna be harder for it to like move but yeah now I'm going to go ahead and draw on my jar and I'm actually going to go ahead and put here 
with a sharpie the word Coco. Okay, so I put on my jar cocoa. Then over here on this side, I'm going to grab a blue Sharpie and I'm going to draw a guitar representing um, cocoa. So here is my guitar. Let me go ahead and put more strings. Okay. So there you go. Now you guys can go ahead and uh, put again if you guys want to put the word Coco. I'm going to use another green one. And right here, I'm going to put, oh, I can barely see the, the green one. Let me go ahead and use another one. I'm going to go ahead and use um, a red one. So let me get a red one. And I'm going to actually write right here. Disney pick. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put my other one, and my other one I am going to put a uh, glue stick, I mean uh, glue, and then once I put the glue, I'm going to stick it right here. go ahead and put it again okay so I'm going I'm actually gonna glue it at the bottom guys so I'm gonna go ahead and it's a little bit hard because my hands are a bit troubly to do this Ah, okay, so there we go. You can grab a pencil if, just like me if your hand doesn't fit. Now, I'm going to put the other one there too. So, this is how it looks. I love how it turns out. Now, whenever you go to sleep, you can put it next to your bed. Or, even if you go to the bathroom, you're like, oh, I don't want to turn on the light for the bathroom. There you go. Or, if you want to put it in your living room. And it makes a really, really nice light. Hope you guys enjoyed it, guys. I am so happy to be able to do this video. One more time. Let me go ahead and do my grito. There you go. Bye, guys.